Hey everyone, welcome to my review of the second episode of uh, One Punch Man Season 2. Uh, honestly, I think this might be my last um, my last review for this uh, for this series. Um, it's just there's not really much to say. There's not much to say, especially if um, people have read the manga. They're um, uh, there's not, you know, much different, which I think is what matters. You know, people are complaining about the plot. Um, or not the plot, they're complaining about the animation. But I think what's most important is the plot. For, like, any adaptation of a manga, that's what's really important. Um, I meant to say this in the last episode review, but there is, um, there's a line missing with King that I wish would have been in there, because it's super memeable. Where it's when he's playing that romance game and he's like, um, uh, he's like, I'm, I'm 28 years old and I'm still playing high school romance dating games. What's wrong with me? And I really wish that would have made it in because I would have loved to seen like all the memes, you know, once that went, once that went mainstream, once it left the manga, I would have loved to seen the memes like, look at me, I'm 29 years old and I still play Fortnite or I'm 29 years old and I still, um, listen to this, you know, Justin Bieber or something, it would have been awesome, but it wasn't there, uh, so I mean, it does seem like they're cutting out little bits, um, but I, I feel like, uh, I mean, it could be worse, it could be cutting out, like, super, like, important information, like, you know, Berserk 2016, 2017 did, it, it cut out things that would have been needed for the story to even continue, which is really dumb of them. Uh, but most of the plot is still there for One Punch Man still. Um, with the second episode, you know, it, it's still following the manga. And the animation, it isn't bad. It might not need Bone Studio, but, you know, like, Bone Studio is the best in the industry. But I wouldn't say it's bad. Like, there's a lot of really quick camera cutting, and there's some camera tricks where they, you know, tilt the camera to give the illusion of, um, or, you know, they'll zoom in and zoom out to give the illusion of something moving. Um... But all together, it still looks good. I think all together, it looks better than um, the Fairy Gone. That's another anime I've been reviewing. Fairy Gone seems to have like more motion, but like less detail, like a lot less detail compared to uh, One Punch Man. This current season, like the details, all still there. I think in the city and, and the characters, the designs are a little different. They're not quite as good, but they're still a lot better than I'd say the designs in Fairy Gone are. Um, so yeah, like the, the newest episode had a lot of action. So for all y'all out there wanting to compare the uh, animation of the first season to the second, like you can really do that in the second episode. Um, but like I said, I mean, there's not much else to say. It's following the manga, so I don't really have to say anything for the manga manga readers out there. I mean, I've owned, I have the, I own the first two volumes, so I knew everything that was going to happen in, in the last two episodes. Um... And there might be a little bit missing, but it's not the worst. So all together, I gotta give, so far, I'm, I'm giving One Punch Man Season 2, like, um, I don't like an 8.5 out of 10. I, um, like the last, last season, all together, definitely give it like a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, but without, you know, that, that animation dip, it isn't too bad. But it's something. So, so far it's 8.5 out of 10. Because it still looks better than like a majority of the anime do. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess there's there's nothing really else much to say. I'll have to come up with another another video to do on Tuesdays. Because I think um, following, you know, keeping the review of the series will just be a dead horse at this point. Uh, so that's all I got. Um, so yeah, that's Kermit out. Bye-bye.